In the village of Yana Cancha Baja, little has changed over the centuries. Small and isolated, high in the Andes of northern Peru, people here tend to view the unknown with suspicion. But a year and a half ago, their lives changed dramatically. That's when, thanks to a small hydropower project, this village received electricity for the first time. There were people who had been forced to leave here, he says, many of them thinking about finding a job in the city. Now I've seen that there are young women or young people here that enjoy all kinds of jobs that have appeared since the arrival of the electricity. Beyond the reach of Peru's national network, Yanacancha had to look for another way to get power. With the help of the NGO ITDG, or Practical Action, the village realized it already had the fundamentals it needed to generate electricity. Now to make a micro hydro station work, you need two things. First, you need the water. As you can see, there's plenty of water around here. Second thing you need is that water has to fall from a pretty good height. You can see, just looking over there, not a problem finding good heights around here. Gilberto Villanueva from ITDG helped the village in everything from planning to training to finding financing. The water that comes in the intake runs through the channel up there for about a kilometer and a half, takes a turn, and finally arrives over there, what looks like a concrete column. That's the aerating tube. From there, the water drops down the steep incline, picking up pressure and driving the turbine below. That, in turn, generates the energy that's carried over the steep mountain incline back to the village. Gilberto Malocho is in charge of maintaining the station. With no roads here, he and the other men from Yana Cancha had to carry all the equipment needed by hand over more than two kilometers or more than a mile of rough terrain. Back in town, it's easy to see the difference it's made. The clinic now has a refrigerator to store vaccines, sparing residents a long trip to the nearest hospital. There's a small internet cafe. In short, electricity has rejuvenated this town. While a short time ago it was losing its youth to the cities, today new earthen homes are being built. For a people not used to change, this one has been welcome. Morgan Neal for Eco Solutions, Yana Cancha Baja, Peru.